Its chief scientist was a lively Scot called Robert Watson Watt. Watson Watt was a great opportunist. So when this question was circulated, is a death ray possible? Watson Watt replied in January of 1935, saying, absolutely impossible, but I believe I can use radio energy to detect an enemy bomber. But Watson Watts' extravagant claim was based on little more than a hunch. He had built his early career tracking thunderstorms by radio direction finding. Now, whilst exploring the upper atmosphere, he became puzzled by some mysterious radio reflections. He suspected they could be echoes from passing aircraft. So when the Air Ministry demanded that he substantiate his extravagant claim, Watson Watt turned to his young assistant, Arnold Wilkins. Wilkins made an estimate of the amount of radio energy reflected from an aircraft. The answer surprised everyone. It was very favorable. On paper, at least, the calculations verified Watson Watt's hunch. But only a real-life demonstration would convince the RAF. I figured out a layout for the experiment. All we need is two aerials. We can run the receivers back. Within a few days, Wilkins had devised a pioneering experiment. Wilkins had commandeered an old Morris ambulance grandly called the Mobile Laboratory. An RAF bomber was arranged to fly a course between the BBC transmitter at Daventry and the van. Any disturbance to the display would indicate aircraft reflections. As the aerials were pegged out, progress was slow. And as darkness fell, the van's battery froze. <laughs> Undaunted, Wilkins completed the lineup just before the transmitter closed down at midnight. Next morning, Watson Watt arrived from London. Permission to come aboard, Mr. Wilkins. Welcome, come on in. Thank you very much. He was keen to see the test for himself. Did you have a good journey up? Oh, I was fine. There were one or two teething problems with the equipment, but it's all. Rowe joined them and awaited the Hayford bomber. As the team anxiously watched, they heard the drone of the approaching aircraft. Definitely an engine. It could be our man. It could be a tractor. The spot refused to move. The Hayford turned and made a second approach. Goes. Wilkins had made Britain's first radar contact, and Watson Watt was quick to realize the significance. Well, Skip, Mr. Rowe, Christian is an island again. 